One thing we're really lucky to have up north is a lot of beautiful lakes. And one of the best ways to enjoy them is with something like this. The Hobie Wave Catamaran Sailboat. Made this video for beginners or anybody who wants to learn more about these awesome boats. I'm going to go through all the features, show you all the terms, how it works, and then we'll get it set up for sale. All right, let's just start with the overview of the boat. It's four passengers, maximum. You can see the four seats on here. I would say two works best. Certainly can be sailed by one person. Uh, three people is okay. Four is a little crowded, but it can seat four in total. This is a 2015 model that I got used uh, last year. And just start from the front of the boat take a look at what's here. It's got two holes, that's the catamaran. So these long pieces are the holes, they're 13 feet long. And the boat with these crossbars is gonna be about seven feet wide. So it's actually pretty good space. I think this is the perfect size. Uh, really easy to handle, not too big, not too small. You can see in the middle, I've got this blue tarpaulin here. That's what holds it together also makes it very comfortable to sail on. Now starting from the front, these are the bridles that attach on either side to that line that's there in the middle, and the front is called the forestay. Now that is the thing that's holding up the mast. So if you're playing around with that and you wanted to, you know, change the settings or something like that, or you undo this thing here, that mast is gonna fall down in a hurry, so. Uh, luckily, you don't need to do that. You just leave it where it is. It's going to hold the mast up. You don't need to adjust it at all. And you can see the mast is kind of leaning backwards. That's the black pole in the middle there. At the very top, there's a thing called a mast float. That's that white, white thing with the Hobie logo on it. So what that does is keep the mast up out of the water if you were to flip the sailboat over. So boat flips over, mast is going to go down. And if there's nothing there to hold the mast up, the whole thing could flip over entirely, get completely inverted. That's what they call turtling in a sailboat because it's very hard to get the thing righted back up again when that happens. So that little float at the top is going to help you with that if the thing were to tip over. Now the mast itself is about 20 feet high. Let me get down in the water here. You can see a couple things about it. It's got a ball that it pivots on here. So this thing is gonna move as the wind moves, which is really actually nice because you look at the top of it, you're gonna be able to see what direction the wind is going. It's held up on the sides by these things. These are called shrouds. There's one on either side. Again, you don't need to do anything with that. Once it's set up at the beginning of the year, you just leave it set up that way. You know, talk about flipping these boats over, it definitely can happen. On this one, it's got what's called a writing line, which is this blue and white line here. I actually have two of them on here. This one goes from the side, across the front, down the other side, and I got another one that's on the back there. So basically, again, you might get in this situation. Hopefully you don't, but if the thing flips over, you think about it, the bottom is now gonna be on top. You need something to grab onto to pull this thing over. That's what this line is for. So it's attached on here, through here, it's going to be underneath. So when the boat flips over, you got a way to ride it back up, which is why it's called the riding line. All right, we'll get on the boat, show you the rest of it. Okay, so let's start with what is on the boat. First thing I want to talk about is this line here, which is called the halyard. It's going to be connected to the mast. This is the line that you raise and lower the sail with. So I got tied off here. Just gonna put this to the side and show you. I actually like to clip it in the middle. You can put it on the mast there itself. I clip it here because once it's tied to the mast, it tends to do a lot of clanking. 
in the wind, and I don't really like that. But the rope goes all the way up the top, in front of the mast and behind. So to raise and lower the sail, I'm just gonna connect this to the top of the sail. We're gonna crank on this line here and pull, that'll pull the sail up. And one thing about this is you don't want to be yanking this line down here because this is very light without a sail on it. You do that, this thing gets up to the top. There's no way to get it back without lowering the mast, which is kind of a pain to do. So you just want to watch that. This should be attached to the sail or always tied down here so it's not flying up there. Now one thing about this you look at, there's a little metal clip at the top of here, at the top of this metal line right before the rope starts and this is really important because this thing is going to go all the way up through the mast and then on the other side you can't really see it here too good but there's a little clip up there that this is going to attach to and when that is attached to the clip then the sail is going to be in place over there then we're going to tie it off i'll show you how to do this in a minute here but that's the halyard very important that's what you use to raise and lower the sail with almost tie this off here so I don't lose it. Uh, other things, I got a paddle. It's kind of nice to have a paddle on here in case you get into a situation you're having trouble turning around or, you know, your wind completely dies on you. Um, going around to the back, this whole assembly here of ropes is called the main sheet. I don't know why they call it a main sheet because it's just a bunch of ropes, but uh, that's what it's called. That's the terminology. This is what you attach to the back of the sail here or the clue of the sail. And I'll show you that in a minute as well. It's got this set of blocks on it here. This is what controls the speed of the boat by increasing the tightness of the sail or loosening the sail. So I've got one side here that is going to, I'm going to be working as this pulls in tighter, it's gonna tighten the sail up. If I wanna let it out, I'm gonna release this from here, let the line out, and then snap it in to lock it as well. So that's called the main sheet. This is how you control the speed on any sailboat. And then it's the same with the Hobie Wave. And going to the back here, this is the rudder and tiller assembly. This bar is the tiller here. It connects to both the rudders. There's one on each hull. And this will go up and down. So if I want to lower this, I just pull down on it and that'll lower the rudder. I want to raise it up, I just push it the other way and then that'll raise the rudder. Sometimes you got to do sort of each side independently there, but that's the way you adjust the rudder. You want to put the rudder down whenever you're heading out into the water. I keep it kind of half, half up here because I'm in really shallow water or else it'd be dragging on the bottom. Um, the other thing on the boat that I really like is this blue bar here called the keeling bar. There's one on either side. You can see it over there. You can see it over here. This thing really is designed for leaning backwards. You put your feet in these, these straps here. You lean backwards. You actually lean over the thing. You're holding on to the ropes when you're going really fast. Half the boat is up out of water. The other half is in the water. That is not what I do at all. <laughs> I mean, that terrifies me, actually, to even think about that. But that's really what the thing is designed for. I don't do that at all. I like having both hulls down solid in the water. I just don't go that fast. But what's really nice about it is it actually is an awesome backrest and armrest. So when you're going fairly fast and you want to lean on the side. I don't get up on it. I just sit back like this and use this as an armrest. So works super well for that. It's very comfortable. It also helps you tie it down, right? I got something to tie it to the dock to because there isn't any cleats or anything on this boat to tie it. So it really works well for that as well. So, all right, that's the overview of the boat. I'll show you how I get it set up for sale. All right. To get it set up for sail, of course you need a sail. So my sail is here. It's nice to have a bag like this. This came with it. Definitely recommend doing this, keeping it in a bag. You can pull this thing out. There's our sail. This is the top of the sail here. We're gonna connect that up to that halyard 
and then you'll see the bottom once we get it unrolled here. You know, before you sail any boat, you definitely got to have a life jacket on. Um, things do have a tendency to tip over. You can get into a situation where, you know, the wind takes over, you're out of control. You don't want to just have the life jacket in the boat. You want to actually have it on. So unless you're a super experienced sailor, I always recommend putting a life jacket for yourself as a captain or anybody that also is on the boat with you. Um, the other thing you definitely want to have is something like this, some water shoes. Um, I learned this the hard way without having them on. I did flip the boat over one time, which not this boat, but another sailboat. And I ended up walking the thing back into the dock, stepped on something, piece of glass, can or something like that, uh, because I didn't have any foot protection or anything on my feet and ended up going to the hospital for a bunch of stitches. So. Definitely recommend having something like this on your feet. The other thing is you think about the boat, you got a lot of lines and ropes on here. Sometimes those ropes are moving fast. If they get disconnected, might get caught up in your toes, uh, could give you some burn on your feet. So definitely get some sort of water shoes on uh, as well as you're getting ready to sail. All right, got my life jacket on, got my water shoes on. Let's get this set up for sale. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is get the sail up. Loosen up that line on the halyard, take it off from where it's clipped there, and find the top of the sail, which is right here, and just stick this little hook right in there. Okay, Oops. get in there. All right, now I'm going to move this up to the front right here. And you can see this slot in here. There's a slot to get it started, and then that slot goes all the way up to the top. So I move the sail to the front here. The slot, I'm just going to kind of stick that thing in there, the top of the sail, and just start pulling it up. It's just going to go straight up through the slot like that. Sometimes it gets caught on itself. There's a little bit of wind here that's working against me. I'm going to try to do this when you are pushing it into the wind. Just going to keep pulling it all the way through. It's going up there. And then there you can kind of almost hear it click. That little metal part is going to attach at the top. Now the sail is fully up there. I can let go of this line. I got no hands on here. It's going to hold up there. So you want to pull it down, tie it off right here. And one really nice feature of the Hobie Wave is you can take your halyard excess line and just kind of shove it down in this pocket right here. Okay, so that's tied off good to go. So sail is up. The next thing you want to do is connect this rope here. This thing is called the downhaul. This little rope right here that's going to connect onto the back of the mast right in this little cleat. I just kind of tie it all the way up. That's going to keep the bottom of the sail down here. So now i got the sail connected. You see it's just kind of floating flying loose in the wind like that. So I'm not going anywhere. And the way to get going is to connect the back of the sail to the main sheet. This part on the sail is called the clue right here. And when I connect this up here, then you're going to be in the sailing position. So as soon as I connect this, the boat's going to start to move. So you got to be ready to move at that point, which generally you may want to connect this first. You could connect this first and then tie off or, or untie yourself from the dock. Or if it's a little bit slower, you may want to untie yourself first and then uh, put the main sheet on the clue. Once that's set up, you are ready to sail. All right, so that's it for the basic overview of the Hobie Wave, how to get it set up for sale. Thanks again for watching.